out of how many circles is the beaver made of. Basically, how many circles are there in this picture? So we can simply count it so that we don't miss a circle. We can number those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there are eight circles. D is the correct choice. The picture shows five cubes from front. What do they look like from above? All right. So I have to look from the top. So if I look from the top, I will see this cube, the dark gray one. Then here I will see this white one. And here I will see the light gray one. So there will be dark gray, white, and light gray. Uh, that is dark gray, white, light gray. B is the correct choice. Each bowl has four balls. Add up the numbers on the balls. In which bowl is the result biggest? So we can certainly go ahead and add all the numbers and write the sum below each. But there is a smarter way to do this problem. See that 9 is in all the balls. So I can remove 9. So let's hide 9. And then similarly, I see that 7 is in all the balls. So I can also hide 7. Okay, and then 4 is also in all the balls, so I can also hide 4. Now, I have only one number left, right? So I see that 8 is the biggest, then A is the correct choice. Doing it this way, we can save some time because we don't have to add all the numbers. Mr. Beaver rearranges the parts to build a kangaroo. Which part is missing? All right, so we can check each parts one at a time. Let me call it one. So that can be uh, this one. This is slightly rotated, but that's fine. This two can be here. They are right triangles. Three, four. This is a square. Five. This is another right triangle. Also, we have to match the size. So this is can be six. So we see that this part is missing. So this, so, so this part is missing, then A is the correct choice. Sahara says, my boat has more than one circle. It has two triangles more than squares. Which boat belongs to Sarah? All right, so we, there are two conditions. We can check each at a time. More than one circle, so this is fine. More than one, fine. This is only one, so this cannot be it. More than one, more than one, this is fine. Two triangles more than squares. So let me write down the number of triangles and squares. The triangles on the left, one, two. This is two triangles, one square. It has one, two, three triangles. One, two, two squares. This is one, two, three, four, five triangles. But this cannot be it anyway. So we don't even need to write down for that. This has only one triangle, three squares. This is one, two, three, four triangles, two squares. So we want two triangles, two triangles more than squares. So the left number has to be two more than the right number. So, so this number is two more. The number of triangles is two more than the number of squares. Then E is the correct choice. The B on the right has few pieces missing. So this B has few pieces missing. Each piece costs points. How many points? How many points does Maya need to complete the B? All right, so let's see which pieces are missing and we can count those points. So we can see that this one is missing, right? So that will be this one. And then I have one I missing. So that will be this one. Then mouth is missing. Uh, mouth is this one. And then I have one wing missing. Wing is uh, this one. And that's it. Now everything is complete. So now we can add up the missing points. So this is one plus three is four plus four is eight plus five is 13. Then E is the correct choice. 
to see four set paper in the middle p times two holes okay like this what does the piece of paper look like when she unfolds it again all right so we are folding it like this and we are making a circle here so this distance has to be the same as this distance so the other circle will end up here so I have a square here so on the fold the square is near the fold line so this distance has to be same as this distance so that looks like you know not this this looks like it not this not this not this so b is the correct choice so this is something that you can also try at home i'm taking a piece of paper right i'm going to fold it fold it like this and then i'm going to punch your holes here i'm going to punch one hole here and a square near the fold line i I cannot punch a square, so I'll punch a slightly bigger hole here. And then when I unfold it, as you can see, this distance has to be same as this distance, right? So this distance has to be same as this distance, and B is the correct choice. Hansi sticks 12 cubes together to make this figure. He always puts one drop of glue between two cubes. How many drops of glue does he need? So we can simply count how many joints are there. So this is one, so this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I think I missed one here. Eleven. Then D is the correct choice. The two markers with a question mark have the same numbers. All right, so these two are the same numbers. Which number do you have to put instead of the question mark so that the calculation is correct? All right, so this together makes 18. So somehow, let me take out 10 and 2 from 18. So if I take out 10 and 2, how much more do I need? So this is 12. So I need 6 more to make 18. So this 10. Can be this 10, this 2, can be this 2, and these two question marks together make 6. So, what two numbers make 6? So that would be 3 plus 3, right? Then C is the correct choice. So, basically, each question mark has to be a 3. So, this will be a 3, this will be a 3. If you already know algebra, you can also do this using algebra. So, this is 10 plus let me call this x and this is x that is 2x plus this is 2 is equal to 18 this is 2x 10 plus 2 is 12 this is 18 this is 2x 18 so 12 comes to this side so that is 18 minus 12 so this is 6 right 2x is equal to 6 so x is equal to 6 by 2, I'm dividing both sides by 2. So this is going to be 3. We get the same answer. Max wants to complete the jigsaw song. So Max wants to complete this. He has different pieces. So these are the different pieces. Which piece does he have to use? All right. So this problem requires a little bit of imagination. But before we try to, you know, you know, take each piece and fit there, we can try to do something smart. Let's see how many pieces we need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So each of these choices must have 10, right? Otherwise, it is not going to work. So this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this has 11. This is not going to work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this may work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need 10. So that is not going to work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need 10. This is also not going to work. Now between these two, we will try to see if we can fit it. Again, it requests a little bit of imagination. But we can see that the T, I can fit the T here. 
like this. So this is the T. And then I can have this T go like this. And this L can be here. Right? So you can see that A will fit. You can check that this you will not be able to fit. Then A is the correct choice. Emma came third in a dance competition for girls. Three dancers came between her and the lowest girl. How many dancers took part in the competition? So Emma came third. Let's say this is the first, second, third. This is where Emma is. And three dancers came between her and the last girl. So let's say this is the last girl, right? So this is the last. There are three dancers in between. One, two, three. All right. So in total, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then D is the correct choice. And this is six triangles with this pattern. Which picture can he make with them? So in each picture, as you can see, this there is triangle and that is repeated six times. So let's check each picture one at a time. Let's start with this one here. If I take this triangle here and try to match the pattern, so there is the cross. The cross is here, and then there is a line. Line is here, and there is a hat. Hat is there. So it looks like this is going to work. If I compare this, there's a cross, but there is a boundary. So that is not going to work. So this boundary is not in the original pattern. Here there's a cross and line. Cross the line is missing here. So this is not going to work. Here there's a cross and a line and the hat. So instead of hat, there is a line. So there should have been a hat here. So again, this is not going to work. Here there's a cross. There's a cross, line, and hat. Cross, line, and hat. But if you look at this cross and this cross, here the cross is right at the center. Here, it's slightly off, right? So this distance is not the same as this distance. So again, this cross is not exactly the same as this cross. So this is not going to work. Then A is the correct choice. Each of the children, Ali, Leah, Joseph, Vittorio, and Sophie get a birthday cake. The number on top of the cake shows how old the child is. Leah is two years older than Joseph, but one year younger than Ali. Vittorio is the youngest, which cake belongs to Sophie. All right, so let's check the conditions. Leah is two years older than Joseph. So I'll write the older kid to the right. So this is going to be Joseph. So Leah is two years older than Joseph, but one year younger than Ali. Then Ali is older, one year older. Okay. Vittorio is the youngest, so youngest will go to the leftmost. That is V, right? Is the youngest. So which cake belongs to Sophie? And we have the ages here: four, five, six, seven, eight. So this can be this has to be four, five, six, seven, and eight. So Sophie must be here, right? Then C is the correct choice. Maria has a total of 19 apples in three bags. These are the bags. She takes the same amount of apples from each bag. Then there are three, four, and six apples remaining in the bag. Three, four, and six. How many apples did Maria take from each bag? All right, how many? Okay, so how many are remaining? Three plus four is seven, plus six is 13. 13 are remaining. So there are 19 to start with. There are 19 apples to start with. 13 is remaining. So how many did uh, Maria take? 13, 19 minus 13 is 6. So 6 apples were taken from 3 bags. But I took the same amount. The same amount of apples were taken from each bag. So I must have taken the 3 bags. So 6 by 3 is 2. So I must have taken 2 apples from each bag, right? then B is the correct choice. Once you get your answer, oftentimes it is also a good idea to double check. So here I've taken two apples from each bag. So if I give it back, so there will be three plus two is, there was five to start with. Four plus two is six, six plus two is eight. So these are the original numbers. And now if I add it up, five plus six is 11, 
plus it is 19 and to start with there are 19 apples so it makes sense 3 frogs live in a pond each night only one of the frog sing a song after 9 nights the first frog has sung 2 times the second frog has listened to 5 songs how many songs did the third frog listen to all right let me call f1 as frog 1 f2 frog 2 f3 frog 3 and let me call s for singing l for listening all right, the first frog has sung two times. The first frog has sung two times. The second frog has listened to five songs. The second frog has listened to five songs. So the second frog listens to what frog one and frog two sing. And it, it has listened five times. So this frog must have sung three times. So the three plus two is five. All right. So how many songs did the third frog listen to? All right. So let's first, we know that total there are nine nights and each night only one frog sings so there has to be total nine singing so this is three plus two is uh, five and then we need four more singing so frog two must have sung four times right so this together four five six seven eight nine this together is nine all right so how many songs did the third frog listen to so the third frog listens to what frog one and two sing so there is two plus four is six then B is the B is the correct choice. Now I get back to me. Now your turn. Okay. I'm a different color pen. Mm -hmm.